This is Maya 2024, and let's take a look at creating wonderful environments very quickly while working with the new default shader, which is the standard surface shader. So goodbye, Lambert in 2024. Hello, standard surface shader, and you'll get a lot more out of it. Let me show you how to create these wonderful sky dome sky boxes for your Maya scene that will light the scene, create environments, make everything look so spectacular using images from this website and working with the new standard surface shader in Maya. Head. Fluffy clouds. Choose the type. Do you want digital painting, fancy landscape, anime art style, or you could always go for realistic. Let's try realistic. And then when it's all done, you have this awesome, you have this awesome sky box. And let's connect this into Maya. Download it. Let's go to Maya. Let's start a new scene. Create a placeholder object. And remember, in Maya 2024, the default surface is a standard surface. So it's going to pick up all those PBRs. It's not going to be a Lambert anymore as a default, but standard surface. Go to Arnold, Lights, Sky Dome Light. Now connect that image you just created by going to the Sky Dome Lights attributes for the color swatch. Just click the input, click on File. Pick the file from your computer. Should be the Downloads folder. Clicking on Open, and there's your scene. Go to Arnold and go to Open Arnold Render View. Click on Render. And this is the current scene. Now, to rotate around, of course, you could just rotate around the scene like this. If you want to rotate the sky dome itself, just, just select it and use the Rotate tool. You can rotate that around also. Let's take a look at this standard surface material. Going to the attribute editor, this tab. Let's look at the diffuse and metalness for this. I'll have this over here. So increasing the metalness. You could start to see the reflection. You're not seeing it purely because the diffusion, the roughness is on on Speckler. So if you turn that down, now you have a perfect mirror. If you increase it, you have this dull surface that picks up the surrounding light. So maybe you just want to pull it down a bit like this. Add your own objects to the scene, lighting it with the sky dome light, playing with the metalness and, and the roughness of the Speckler. If you don't want to use the default standard surface material, which is a lot more compatible than Lambert or AI standard surface materials, but if you want to go apply your own materials to this, use AI standard surface material. If you're going for a pure Arnold PBR workflow, if you're going to Unity, Blender, or somewhere else, start out with the standard surface material and see how it works out in your next application. You also can switch to a Stingray, PBS, or other formats as well to be more compatible with the PBR workflow and other applications. But start here and see how far you'll get with using this. So remember the fun part is this website that allows you to generate these various scenes. What if I wanna remix this and instead of a blue sky day, let's just cancel that part and we could say a very clear night with lots of stars. Oh, this is an awesome image as well. I think I gotta save this. I wish I typed in the moon, but that's okay because at any point you could remix it and add the moon in. Let me download this, jump back to Maya, and I'm gonna reconnect the new one by selecting the sky dome right here. Clicking the input, clicking the folder, connecting it, and wait for this view to update. So have lots of fun with this cool skybox generator and the sky dome within Maya to create these awesome environments and lighting for your scenes.